What is up? Welcome back. Do you like to do it, build it, or make it? And make money? So do we. This is New Year's Eve, Eve, Eve's <laughs> Eve. This I is think. the last week in December, but by the time you see this, it will be the first of January. So happy New Year. Happy New Year. So we thought it would be a great time to do a little review of 2025. What were our top five projects in 2025? And 2025 was the longest year. So we had a lot of projects. We had a lot, but we're only going to talk about the top five. We're going to count them down and see if they're still relevant for 2026. I think first we should hit them with some stats from the channel. You right. guys have helped us grow this year. We wanted to show you how well we've grown. All right. So we have had 14.5 million impressions leading to, you can do it. 1.3 million views on our videos in 2025. With... 1,600 comments. And 30,000 likes. And, and only... Only 600 dislikes. Now, 600 might sound like a, li a lot, but across that, compare that with the 30,000... I mean, that's really only that's like bad. two and a half a it's day. It's not bad. I mean, it doesn't even hurt my feelings that much. <laughs> that's not that much. Not that much. Just a little bit. <laughs> so again, we have the top five videos from 2025 that we think you're going to want to go back and watch. Were We're going to count them down packed full of info yeah so I we mean, had to go back and watch them to remind ourselves what we did in this video and every time we watched one we were like yeah yeah that's a lot of good information it's got a lot of good info no wonder it did well so they're packed full of info so make sure you go back and watch them if you missed them in 2025 because guess what little uh fun fact they're all relevant for 2026 pretty evergreen i'd say i'd say pretty evergreen right all right, number five. Project number five, top 10 secrets to engraving on glass. So we had to do like 36 wine glasses. Kim volunteered. Well, I didn't it was, volunteer. It was, it was a lady project. that comes into the, the workshop all the time. And she's mm -hmm. like, hey, can you guys engrave on wine glass? My daughter's getting married and she wants us to engrave these custom wine glasses for the wedding, which... We did, but it took a little testing because not only were we engraving on glass, which is a, which is a little bit tricky, we were going to be we were using the F1 yep. Ultra, which is a diode, so you can't just engrave directly on the glass. And then number two, they had a pink coating on them, so it wasn't just as simple as engraving on glass. We knew that that pink coating was going to change the settings just a little bit. So we did a lot of testing, broke a few glasses, and along the way we were like, well, we've learned a ton while doing this little 36 wine glass project. I think we should tell everybody everything that we've learned. So that's kind of where that video came from. Yeah. And we really did. We just packed it full of everything we learned over the weekend of trying to do those wine glasses. I did try and convince her to go with UV VTF <laughs> stickers because I said, look, you can add color. We can put a sticker on each one. You won't even know it. They're dishwasher safe, UV safe. They're going to be great. And she was like, no, My, I want them. I want it. She I want wanted them. that engraved look. Mm -hmm. Which yeah. is, which I is mean, they classy. came out great. They came out really classy and they looked really nice. Yes. But it was a lot of testing to get to that point. Project number four. Five surprising materials you didn't know you could laser engrave. This was another one for us. I wanted to test a lot of these materials. Kim was super interested in that EVA foam. Yes, I wanted to try it. that stuff was surprisingly awesome. I love how it engraves. It looks super cool engraved. Oh, we should have used it on the Halloween sign for the skull. Oh, That would have yeah, came out absolutely. so cool. We made it 3D. Yeah. We even said, keep an eye out for Halloween projects. We I guess did. we got distracted. We got distracted. We, we ran out of time. But we thought that the five surprising materials was really cool these were just things that i wanted to test cutting or engraving so eva foam was one of them cork was another one i hadn't really done yeah we never really messed with cork before i didn't even know you could buy a whole roll of cork from michael's so i just went up the street and got a roll of cork and i used that we did um foam core board yeah we did that stuff it didn't work like i thought it would um you cannot engrave it oh the craft yeah. plastic everything i mean I enjoyed testing all of those materials and running a test card and everything. And you I like need really guys. thin acrylic. That's yeah. what craft plastic is. And you can cut and engrave that. It didn't engrave great, 
but it did cut really well. And then what else did I do? Oh, stone. The stone. Kim came back with a bunch of goods one day and she's like, I want to make a board and I want to use all of these materials. Mm -hmm. And I was like, what kind of board? And she's like, I don't know yet, but I want to use all these materials. I spent 150 bucks. We're using these materials. This project was actually the genesis or the inspiration, I guess. And then ultimately the genesis of the laser loot box. If you've been watching us for a while, you've heard about the laser loot box. But if you hadn't, it is going to be a subscription that we have coming out in 2026. Each month, you're going to get a new material to test with a project. You can engrave that on things or you can cut different things and apply it on it's different just, materials. It's just a great, inexpensive way to test out different things that you can laser. Instead of dropping 150 bucks mm -hmm. on rando things out of Michael's, mm -hmm. you'll know that these things are laserable and you'll know some general settings and how to use these things. Well, this is a great way, yes, for you to try out different materials. What if you don't know exactly what you want your laser craft to be? This is a great way to test different materials and see what interests you the most. Or if you've been doing a lot of laser engraving for a long time, it's a great way for you to create a material library. Or if you do something and you're ready to pivot this would be a great way to test things out to pivot to if you've been curious about any of those uh, materials i just mentioned go back and watch the five materials video there's a lot of cool stuff in there a lot of cool stuff project number three uv printing 101 now this was more about kim kim's way into the uv printers i'm more of a laser man myself <laughs> kim loves bleeding edge tech like if it's new like the Google Glass or whatever it is, she is a super early adopter. She doesn't mind being an alpha or beta tester. Yes. Whereas yeah. I like things that are kind of proven out <laughs> and I will be like, like cutting edge, but she's bleeding edge. So as soon as we heard about UV printing, it was all over it. I was in, I ran to learn some things, yes. And so we did ultimately get, we have several UV printers now, but at that time we had a couple of UV printers and we thought it was a great time just to do a little 101. UV printing 101, let me tell you what well, they are. We started are. getting a lot of questions. People would see the UV DTF and then ask if you could put that on like cotton t-shirts. T-shirts. And yeah. we're like, no, that's DTF. Not so we, UV DTF. We kind of did that thing. video just to say, hey, UV is a different form of printing. Yeah, we know that UV printing is this growing market and it's it kind of really blew up in 2025. Yeah, and, and right after we got our big machines, all of a sudden these little machines start popping up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. And so, you know today, if you know anything about UV printing, if you don't, go back and watch that video. We'll teach it you a lot. All the, all the goods on it. If you know a little bit about UV printing, you know it's hot, you know it's trendy, and it is definitely going to be a big thing for 2026. So this is a great way to get introduced to the topic because you're going to see more from us on UV printing in 2026. We share a little bit about what we learned, what it is, how it works. Roll to roll versus flatbed, mm -hmm. pros and cons, and then our top 10 requirements when we are looking at machines. Yeah, it's a great video. Go check it out uh, and learn a little more about UV printing. Project number two, RFID keychains. This is another one of Kim's uh, brainstorms. She found out that you could program these RFID or NFC keychains. She tags. was all in. These are tags and we decided, well, I decided I wanted to put them on keychains because you can scan them. You can carry that little keychain with you and have anyone scan it with their phone and they can instantly go to your social media. We actually got introduced to that at CES. Remember that guy was like, well, if you have your phone, you could tap it to my phone. But I was like, I don't know why you want to tap your phone to my phone and I'm nervous about this. I'm not doing a stranger tap with somebody. <laughs> But since then, I learned, well, if he had told me it was just an NFC tag, yeah. I would have gotten it. But at the time, I didn't know what he was doing and why he, he wanted to tap to my your, phone, your tap send his card with, for, to me. But with this little keychain, I thought it would be a great way for someone to tap their phone and just go straight to my link tree, which has all of my social media deets on it. And once I learned that we could program them ourselves, <laughs> I was all in. I had some great ideas. Yeah, well, like I said, little nefarious ideas. If you watched our videos, you'll know that Garrett was immediately thought of funny ways that he could yeah, program ways. and reprogram these tags. But I was using them for business purposes and you should go take a look because I teach you all about yeah. the I went deep into the rabbit hole on RFID. What I think RFID think? stands for real freaking in deep. That's on these, <laughs> Please tell me. On these RFIDs. <laughs> yeah. 
it's RFID is like the biggest umbrella of the whole, the technology. She explain it all in the video. NFC. But anyway, you can use these on lots of different things. As a matter of fact, she we have a video anyway. coming up in January where we're stuff. bringing back the NFC keychains or the NFC tags for some other types of projects. Oh, yeah, I, got, I still have ideas. And the number one most popular project of 2025 was actually a video from September 2022. Can you even believe that? So I'm going to go back and give you the stats on the others. So number five were the glasses, and they were 20, 28,000 views. Four was the five surprising materials you can laser engrave, and that had 29,000 views. Three was UV printing 101, which had 80% more views at 44,000 views. RFID keychains, 49,000. But sublimation versus DTF, sublimation versus this DTF. year alone was 57,000. Now, after re-watching that video, I understand why it's so popular. Two reasons. One, we get a lot of questions about UV, DTF, like I said earlier, versus DTF. So I think people are searching for DTF. And then two, this was packed full of information. I even had animations in there for like the sublimation and stuff. So you can really understand the technologies between DTF, and then we did it. Yeah, we did like a versus. And, yeah, I took on the persona of DTF, and, and I, you were but, sublimation. Mm -hmm. So it was a little versus challenge, so it was a little bit fun. We each talked about the different technologies and how they worked and the pros and cons of each. Yeah. And so that was 57,000 views, which is another... Well, in its whole lifetime, it has 150,000 yes. views. Yes, that's where I'm so, going. Mm -hmm. I mean, Thanks for stealing my thunder. <laughs> now, 59,000, 57,000 was was 8,000 more than our, our number two video, but lifetime for this video was 157,000. And that's been going strong since 2022. Yeah, so. it's been going strong. I mean, well, both technologies are on the come up still. Sublimation is timeless. I don't think it'll ever go away. Mm -hmm. A DTF was on the come up then. And well, left t-shirts and they're not going away anytime soon, yeah. especially with the apparel printers. You know, we have the x -Tool apparel printer, but I was uh, there say, are other companies coming out with these same technology. So I was going to say, I was like, a better technology is now coming out. We got in early, so we had to shake and bake it manually and stuff. But now technology is caught up to the the uses of these machines. Right, when we did this in 2022, we did not have the apparel, pr apparel printer at that time. So the technology was in, has improved since then. What, the what was that, 2024 we got the apparel yeah. printer? The heads have improved, all the circulation has improved. I mean, just DTF in general has leveled up in the last three years. And so you could be using, and that's what we talked about in the, in the very end of that video, you could still use sublimation for some projects, you're gonna use DTF for other projects. And then you might use UV printing for others. So there are different types of printing technologies out there and you might need them all. So I think we need to do a head to head to head, DTF versus sublimation versus UV printing. Look for that video coming up. Those were our top five projects of 2025. We have lots more projects and tutorial videos out there. We look forward to even more in 2026. Each week we show you how to be successful with your side hustle. And a big thank you to you for supporting us on our journey. We love to DIY and your views allow us to continue to make new projects and take you on this journey with us. Well, I'm about out of time. I got to go prep for 2026. You got to go prep for 2026. And we will see you in the new year. And a big thanks to our Make It Mafia. Those are the best kind of viewers right there. They support this channel. And that is the best way to support this channel. There's a ton of stuff over there, but it's really about the community. I mean, you got a question or a problem, anything. I mean, the, the mafia's got you. The mafia's got you. It's all about the family.